Hi everybody. I just wanted to make another quick video to walk you through what to do once I actually send you the template and then how you create a campaign with that. So you're going to get an email from me, you're going to add that to your account, and then you're going to go to your templates and you're going to see the newsletter in there. And then you're just going to click that. And then you're going to click right there where it says create campaign. And then I want to send to my entire list. You can do it different ways, but I find it easiest to send it to my entire list. And then you're going to click next. And you're going to name your campaign up here. And I'm just going to call it June newsletter. And then my email subject, like we talked about before, this is kind of important. Um, something to catch their eye, something to make it interesting, something that they're going to want to open. Um, and I'm going to write throughout the summer. And I'm going to keep it from love to be fit with Liz because most people will know what that is. And then my email address, I'm going to change that. You can have that be any email that you want. And then I'm going to click next. And then it's going to take you to your template one more time. And I actually want to edit this. So I'm going to change this picture up here back to a picture that I had there before. So there, that changes that. I'm just going to look over it real quick, make sure everything looks good. Newsletter, there's our recipe, there's our tip, there's our Shakeology, there's my picture, and then my links at the bottom. That looks great. Save and close, and then I'm going to click Next. And up at the top, it sometimes is going to say it looks like there's a problem. I forgot to put a header. You always have to have a header up there. So I'm just going to click Resolve. It's really easy. It's just going to take me back. And your header is this tiny little area up at the top. So I'm just going to edit that. And I'm just going to type, love to be fit with Liz, June newsletter. Let's fix those few mistakes. And click save and close. And then click next again. And everything looks good. I'm ready to send. So I'm going to click send. And then it's going to ask me one more time if I'm ready to launch. And I am. I want to send it to my 107 subscribers. Send now. And there you have it, guys. It's that easy. And then you can come back here and you can actually track the performance of your newsletter. You can see how many people opened it, what links they clicked on, if anybody unsubscribed. It's a really awesome thing. So that's very easy for you guys to find once you come back in here. And also, just a little tip, you guys can download the MailChimp app on your phone and you can look at all your stats from your phone. So that's a really easy way to do that too. All you have to do is search in your apps for MailChimp, download it, and then click on reports and see what's going on with your newsletter. Uh, and again, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Okay? Thanks.